April 26, 2016 meeting of the Transportation Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mrs. Brown? Here. Chairman Howland? Here. Mr. Lightfoot? Here. Mr. Michike? Here. Mr. Rocco? Here. Mr. Shepard? Here. Mr. Zale? Here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum? There is not. Is there anyone present who is not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? The next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. You have the March 23rd, 2016 minutes of the Transportation Committee before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. Re Madam Clerk. Referral 16-0138. Moved by Legislator Mitchick case, seconded by Legislator Zale. Is there any discussion? There being none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? The item carries. Referral 16-0139. Moved by Legislator Zale, seconded by Legislator Brown. Is there any discussion? There being none, shall we proceed to vote? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? The item carries. Referral 16-0140. Moved by Legislator Brown, seconded by Legislator Rockow. Is there any discussion? Legislator Lightfoot. Mr. Chairman. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration, uh, will these uh, funds that we're asking for be for the entire uh, inventory? Uh, through the chair, yes. So, uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, um, this 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 inventory is all inclusive. I mean, it's including all our guard um, guide rails. It's not a partial type of uh, inventory. Through the chair, that is correct. Uh, we will get out of this a complete inventory of all of the guide rail we have on county roads. Um, and it'll, it'll also be uh, all with GPS and GIS. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, that's great. So thank, um, thank you. Uh, so through you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, to the administration, uh, what type of um, programming tool are we thinking that we're gonna be uh, Moving towards, it's, you know, because it says here that you, you know, we, the purpose of doing this is to um, move towards a systematic, systematic programming tool. Is that the tool you're talking about, just GIS, or is there something else that we'll be using to do inventory on our guardrails? Uh, th through the chair, the uh, the inventory will be put into into G with GIS and then into our SAP system, and that's where the inventory will be kept. And then we we will now have all the information there, and if we need to replace that to bring things up to standard, we'll know exactly where everything is and what the lengths of them are. Oh, okay, so it's just going into an existing uh, system that we have, because it, it says here in the, in the very second paragraph, you know, it involved fill verification, assessment, and upgrade to existing inventory database to develop a systematic programming tool to use in the future. So the, uh, you, through, so you saying to use in the future is just saying we'll, we'll just have it accessible and available and, and not necessarily a new system. <laughs> Through the chair, correct. <laughs> okay, so thank you. And um, lastly, uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, our estimated cost, uh, do, we, do we think this dollar amount that we're asking will be our, 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 our pretty much our final number? Uh, through the chair, that will it will not exceed that amount because that's all the amount we have or whatever is in our uh, in the capital fund, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but I always anticipate the uh, the number I negotiate and the fee they propose to be the final number, but if we ask them to do more or if they end up doing things more efficiently and they do it less, it could end up being less. Okay, all right, thank you so much. I have no further questions. Any further discussion? <coughs> there being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? The item passes. Referral 16-0141. Moved by Legislator Rocco, seconded by Legislator Mitch 
Wichita and hear a new discussion. Legislator Lightfoot. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, basically, uh, my question regarding uh, this particular uh, referral for a culvert is uh, how, how big is, uh, how long, um, I know that we're not going to do a cost per foot for culverts because they change. I, I get that, and it's not the same. But, um, you know, it would be helpful to know how long of a culvert we're, we're thinking we're talking about here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the administration. The, uh, the length I do not have at this time, um, I can get that for you, the existing length. Um, it also depends on what the diameter of it is and the size of the, the box or the pipe that's there and what we end up doing in terms of are we able to rehabilitate it or replace it. Mm -hmm. um, the cost we've identified, total cost is includes a, a replacement and then one of the, some of the projects might be a little bit more involved with the hydraulic analysis or the environmental work that needs to be done. Right. So things are always a little bit different, but I don't have the actual uh, length. I'd have to get that. Uh, I can get that. Yeah, you know, one <coughs> uh, thing, Mr. Chairman, uh, what would be helpful for me, um, uh, for my curiosity and to, uh, you know, to help uh, keep my, uh, I don't know, my little inventory of what's going on, is, is a is a is a picture, you know, some type of aerial uh, view of, uh, you know, with the uh, culvert uh, sighted off, so you know, with a little dimension telling me, you know, how much dimensions, uh, how many distance it is, or how wide, or you know, some of the issues that may be, um, that may may be, you know, that may come apart come. You know, it could be, again, the hydraulics. It could be the environmental um, of that. It could, you know, it could, you know, be the way it's, the slope is there. I mean, I get all that. And, um, or even the type of material that may, they may decide to change. So, um, but just to, sometimes just a small note of, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy, so I can just get an a idea of what we're doing, uh, where the projects are taking place, and, 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 and you know how they're going to be best fit because you never know that you it may become another situation um, down the road and that we have to revisit this, the the site and and then it would be more of a conflict you know so it's kind of, of getting ahead of the game just to know that we are um, you know we feel good so that we can advocate in, in behalf. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion? There being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? The item carries. Referral 16-0142. Moved by Legislator Mitchikes, uh, seconded by Legislator Zale. Is there any discussion? Uh, Legislator Lightfoot. Thank you, sir. So for you, Mr. Chairman, back to the administration, similar to uh, a previous uh, culvert discussion that um, that's taking place earlier today um, about the size and distance and um, you know location. Um, I would like to know: Is this something that you think that uh, it wouldn't be too much trouble for the administration to provide? That's why I, I kind of alluded to the fact that just a simple note um, can be handwritten and is efficient enough. Um, so I would like to know for you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration is uh, something that they could, the uh, administration can provide um, to me uh, regarding, you know, the size of the culvert and, you know, what we're, uh, just a little aerial view of it. Or is that just something out of the question? To the chair, um, I certainly know where the, uh, the location of the uh, culvert is, and we can easily get a, uh, a picture if that would help our, our legislators. The, the the length and the width, or what it's what the existing uh, structure is. It might not be what the proposed structure is. That's all I'm saying. 
No, that's not. It's the, uh, for you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. It's not really. You know, sometimes I like to have this discussion um, with my other fellow legislators, so I can seem like, like I'm smarter than them. And so, you know, providing something um, <laughs> along those lines, <laughs> so I could talk technical around it, would be great for you, Mr. Chairman. So that's all I'm getting at. You're opening yourself up to further discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Through okay. you, Mr. Chairman, you know, if the legislator has a specific request request for information in order to uh, make an informed vote, we'd be more than willing to, to meet his needs. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? There being none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The item carries. That's it, right? Yep. Are there any other matters to come before this committee? The April 26, 2016 meeting of the Transportation Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Transportation Committee is scheduled for May 24, 2016 at 5.15 p.m.